There have been endless debates in the Dragon Ball community on whom is the strongest character in the latest Dragon Ball Super arc. And in this video, I will list you the exact order of where these characters stand and why. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Coming up at number 10, arguably one of the most dangerous on the list, but the weakest. Zamasu, the immortal insane god, who has the flawless logic of hating humans because they kill each other, so instead he will kill them all himself. But putting his mental issues aside, Zamasu is pretty strong, fighting toe to toe with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta. Of course, he's not as strong as uh, Goku or Vegeta, but it's impressive that he's able to keep up with them despite us knowing previously that the other Zamasu was as strong as Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Of course, this list is reserved to power and not ability, so putting immortality aside, Zamasu would be the weakest on this list. At number 9, we have the Prince of All Saiyans, Vegeta, who royally handed Goku Black's bitch ass, and has one of the most badass scenes in this arc, and also one of my personal favorite moments in Dragon Ball Super. Wait, hold on, Goku at number 8? You must think I'm on drugs or something. Well, before you dislike the video, I urge you to follow through so we can know exactly why Goku is so low on the list. And I know many see Vegeta as stronger than Goku in this arc because yes, Vegeta does train in the room of spirit and time for 6 months and does get stronger than Goku. However, Goku still has the KO Ken and he did show it to us when he used it to escape the clutches of Merge Zamasu. Therefore, Goku is still stronger. Also, Vegeta needs his own version of the KO Ken. I'm just saying. At number 7, we got none other than the other Zamasu. Goku Black, in an interview with the producer of Dragon Ball Super, which took up place a few weeks before the finale of this arc, when asked about who is the strongest character, Kaido says, the god of destruction Beerus is overwhelmingly strong, but if we leave him out, then I think the strongest fighter is Goku Black. I'd say he used Son Goku's power as a base and evolved it in his own unique way. So this means that not only is Goku Black the strongest aside from Beerus, however he's the most dangerous since he basically has access to Goku's limitless potential, which means Black is a living Zenkai boost of Goku. Number 6 will be Trunks, and no no no, we are not talking about Trunks' weird ass pull form, rather we are talking about Trunks' other ass pull form. You know, the power where he infuses himself with 6 people on earth, including the collective powers of Goku and Vegeta, and then he whips out the Dragon Ball Super version of Longsword style, and kills what was the strongest villain in Dragon Ball we have seen yet. Now you must be wondering, if Trunks defeated Merge Zamasu, wouldn't that make him stronger than Zamasu and potentially stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Vegito? Well, be patient, I'll explain to you when we get to it. At number 5, we have Beerus, the god of destruction. Now I'll be honest, Beerus has been sleeping on us since the resurrection of F-Arc. However, in this arc, he solidifies his position as destroyer and completely destroys present Zamasu. Of course, I know a lot of people will say that Beerus has an attack that can literally right-click delete someone from existence. However, if that was the case, wouldn't that mean Beerus is stronger than Whis or the Omni King, since he can basically wipe them out of the existence? Well, not really. The move was never really said to be a one-hit KO, and Zamasu was so weak compared to Beerus at that time, that's why he couldn't withstand the attack. However, if Beerus tried that, that attack against someone who is more powerful than him, then yes, possibly the move wouldn't work on someone who is stronger than Beerus. But nonetheless, the move was never stated to be a one-hit KO. Number 4 is a life form known as Whis, who is the angel and servant of Beerus, and also oddly enough his babysitter, uh, I mean martial art master. But most importantly, he was confirmed by Toriyama to be stronger than Beerus. Oh, 
Here is where the comment section will go absolutely insane because the third strongest character is healthy merge Zamasu. The reason why I say healthy is because Zamasu was actually degrading in strength and getting weaker after he got seemingly half killed by Goku. Due to his cockiness, he left his guard down. As Zamasu was extremely powerful, one-shotting both Goku and Vegeta easily. Also, let's not forget that he's still a Potara fusion between Black and Zamasu, which makes his real strength even more scary. Even Guazo mentions that he stands in a place above gods. Merge Zamasu sees himself as a higher being stronger than anyone, and he thinks using his full strength against mortals is beneath him, which was extremely foolish on his part. However, he still deals with all Saiyans easily before getting injured. In fact, one of the things that Whis often says, that if Goku and Vegeta worked together, they would go toe to toe with Beerus, and that's in Resurrection of F. And here, Goku and Vegeta got a lot stronger since and they could barely stand to suppress Merge Zamasu. So, what can I say? Number 2 has to go to the fusion Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, Vegito. Because not only was Vegito whooping Merge Zamasu's ass, but he was playing around as usual. Also, it is likely that Vegito was not taking it seriously and got defused early because of it. And he kind of seemed like he was going to finish Merge Zamasu, where his speed and strength was outmatching Zamasu in almost all aspects. But the part that really makes Vegito overpowered is that he could have easily used Kaioken, as he obviously knows all of Goku's abilities and techniques. Of course, granted, the fusion might end as soon as he does that, but it is interesting to note how overpowered he would be if he could have done that. Now, one thing I want to address. I know a lot of people will say that they have no problem with Beerus being below Vegito, but they have a problem with Whis not being above those fused characters. Well, the truth is, Whis is stronger than Beerus, but it's not like he's twice as strong, because according to Toriyama, he's 50% more powerful. And I'm not trying to discredit the forever badass Whis, but if we can accept a character to be stronger than Beerus, then he should be also more powerful than Whis. Now I have to mention the Grand Priest, who was shockingly revealed to be Whis's father, because I abstained from putting him on the list because he could very well be the true second strongest character on this list. However, because we never seen him fight or see him use his power, I can't really include him. But I'm sure he's incredibly strong. In fact, unlike the anime, in the manga he was revealed to have the highest power level in all 12 universes. So you know for damn sure this dude can one-shot most of the characters on this list. And if Whis can reverse time, imagine what the Grand Priest can do. I'm sure he might have full control of time or some shit. Of course, number one is the king of everything, the Omni King, the Dragon Ball Troll, Zeno. Now let's be honest, hearing about Zeno destroying six universes is one thing. However, seeing him doing it like that is another thing. This little cute monster is possibly the strongest character in anime history, let alone the Dragon Ball franchise. So what do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think I missed somebody? Please leave your angry fanboy comments down below. But most importantly, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.